Hi everybody, it's Drummer Doug and Loki here with Who Put These Here Guacamele Super Turbo Championship Edition Part 10, Cavana Del Pollo and El Infierno. This is a super long episode, Caleb allowed us to go 6 minutes, it's going to be very fast paced, there's a lot of stuff to do. So first you're going to go to Caverna Del Pollo and basically it's different trials of enemies that you fought throughout the game. You go down all the way to the bottom and there's one chest after the first trial, two chests after the second trial, and then a uh, dick ball after the third trial. I am here by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, there's Caverna. This is the first trial of El Infierno. Uh, for El Infierno, you have to get all gold on everything. So for the second one, uh, there's a lot of different uh, challenges that you have to get a huge combo for it. Uh, the best way to do that is to switch into the soccer suit. I the the Portera. I don't know the actual name of it. It's a soccer suit. It's a soccer suit. Um, that's the easiest way to do it. Uh, it ups your combo. Yeah, it ups your combo, basically. Uh, you hit for less points, so... You ah. hit more times. Yeah, thanks. I'm getting tongue-tied. Yeah, that's what happens. Nah. So uh, here, you're just going to do some platforming, dodge roll through the thorns, uh, just kind of watch your step, uh, learn the pattern, kind of. Uh, so here, uh, basically, kill everyone as quickly as possible. Don't let them kill you. You just have to survive for a minute 45. Uh... We're already on trial number five, so that's fun. Um, if you let them build up too much, though, the bridge will collapse. So try to keep them limited on there. Once you hit 145, you can hit the back button, and it will immediately end the trial, unless you want to just kind of... Uh, go until you can't go no more? Yeah. Mo. Mo. No mo. No mo. Uh, so this one, you can't dodge roll. Uh, I highly suggest doing the suplex move. Uh, to knock the people back, the, uh, the armadillo things, and the red skeletons that throw stuff. Uh, that's the easiest way to kind of keep your combo up without dodge rolling. So here is basically just run across the platforms. Um, platforming, just watch your step, don't fall. Uh, if you feel like you're taking too long, just restart. It's not too bad. It, it took us 25 seconds. Um, also, if you notice, I am not in this video. Uh, we recommend that you do this by yourself. A second person can really end your combo really fast, and it is a good way to end a friendship. We're still friends, right? If, if you say so. Yeah, whatever. Asshole. So, uh, this one, uh, you cannot use special moves. So, you can dodge roll, you can throw. Uh, this one, platform, using your special moves. Uh... Very quick, if you uh, kind of just pause and play over and over again, it'll just kind of show you exactly what we used. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Uh, this one, you can't throw, which is really annoying. Because uh, of the chupa thingies. Of the chupa thingies, yeah. Uh, just try to knock them down and suplex them as quickly as possible. That is what I recommend. You just said you couldn't throw. Did I say throw? You said throw. Uh, special move, that's what I meant. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I'm losing my mind. So, after the first 10, that's when you can get the chest of the area. You have the first door, which is one chest. The second door, which gives you the Pollo Bamba, which you should have at this point. And also, uh, another chest. Then the third chest, which is for 10 gold. Look at that. Second dick ball of the episode. Bam. Two dick balls, one episode. I'm pretty sure there's a video similar to that on the internet that's been taken down. Kids, don't look it up. Uh, so, use special moves to maneuver... Uh, not too bad. This one, drop down beneath the platforms that slide, and then rooster uppercut back up. This one, you're going to want a dashing derp derp, then rooster uppercut. Not too bad. This one, the enemies are invincible. No, they aren't. Very hard. Damn it. Anyway, whatever. You know what I meant. If they hit you, you get knocked down immediately. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I'm talking very quickly, so I apologize. That's why I'm here. That is why you're here. It kind of slow me down. Uh, so this one, just platform. Uh, I highly recommend whenever you have a high stamina, do it. Just because you're going to be shooting around a lot. This was probably my favorite one. So you're going to have to get this chicken to the end of the course. Uh, basically, whenever you're in the dead world, I believe. And whenever you're in one of the worlds, the chicken is able to move. In the other one, it freezes. So what you want to do is throw the chicken. Like, get to about the apex of the trajectory that it's going then switch worlds so that way it stops run up to it jump and immediately push y so you can latch onto it again uh once you get to this area you're pretty much in the clear um just grab it throw it into the gears 
I I didn't like the fact that we had murder a chicken, but uh, our brethren. Yeah, there's that. So this one just kind of rush. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, switching chicken. There's gonna be some Poya Bomba blocks here. Um, then you're gonna want to switch to Intenso there to kill him as quickly as possible. Uh, this one is a kind of map. Eh. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. This is a maze. Um, we're showing you which way you need to go. Uh, to get to gold, you have to finish in 2.30. Um, it's not hard. It's just quickly defeat them using Tenso. Uh, learn the pattern. This one we recommend too because combo is not an issue. Yeah, just do it quickly. There we go. Uh, we beat six minutes, Caleb. So, uh, see you next time, guys. Bye! Later!